Well, hello there, folks. I'm out at Chinatown today. It is actually the Chinese New Year celebration here in Thailand. And uh, as you can see, lots of people wearing red. They've even gone to the trouble of putting a red shirt on as well, just to blend in, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I don't know what to expect, but hopefully we'll see some fun lights, and light shows and dragon things and all that sort of stuff. So stick around and let's see what we can find. I think it's going to be an absolute madhouse trying to see anything around here. Seriously, trying to find a, a way through. It's going to be one big crowd, I'm sure. Chinatown itself is known for its street food and uh, obviously everything to do with China. Um, but uh, yeah, as you can see here, uh, yeah, the selection of bits and pieces is quite phenomenal. And you see, everybody's here today. And I thought, well, you guys can't be here, so let's have a look at it and sort of give you a bit of a snapshot of the first day of Chinese New Year 2024. Little dragon things there for people and incense sticks. I'm a bit on the pecky side. I don't know what I want to eat today. What have we got here? A bit of light snack. Mm. I'm sure there's a ton of nice food around the place, but uh, I just needed a snack. And that's just filled me up. 20 baht a stick, 40 baht, not too bad. What's that in Australian dollars? <laughs> Anybody to think there's a football match going on somewhere with the amount of people here? Jesus. I knew it'd be pretty busy, but I uh, didn't quite think it'd be this busy. Here's the police trying to get through. <laughs> so here we are, this is officially in the centre of Chinatown. This is where the map marker puts us. See, <laughs> give you a bit of a sneak preview. I think this street normally has cars on it, but I think the street's been closed off today, so it's people per traffic only. As you can see, red is a predominant colour, and also red is lucky as well. It's Chinese New Year, red, it all goes hand in hand. Street food. Yeah, you can come down here any time of the year, but uh, <laughs> why not come on Chinese New Year? My plan is to stick around here for about an hour until all the lights go down and all the street lights and all the signage comes up. Because uh, I'm pretty sure it'll be a bit of a spect spectacle. And hopefully, we'll see some of those uh, dragon chains. I don't know what they call them. You know, the guys that have the dragon suits on and. You know, they're all standing behind each other with the tail. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hopefully we'll see one of those go past as well. But uh, for now, we're just going to have a look around. I was reading the other day that uh, the amount of gold traded here on this street outperforms any other city in the whole of the Asia region. I'm guessing these guys didn't get the red notice. <laughs> You've got all your side streets as well. And of course, this side of me here, you'll find all the, you know, the back street markets. We did a trip down uh, another market, you know, walks through uh, a few weeks ago with Jerry. Uh, we sort of went back into the, you know, into the boondocks of a, you know, a closed market area. We've got the same thing here in Chinatown, but it's all behind that main street here. So, yeah, I don't know if we'll go there tonight, but. Uh, what I'm looking for here is, you know, the lights, the colour, the spectacle, and see what we can find. I can understand foreigners not having the red colour, they probably didn't come prepared, but, uh, you know. Makes you stand out.
the atmosphere here does feel quite lively. Everybody seems pretty happy with themselves. That's a good sign. So it's also a, you know, a high pickpocket area as well, so make sure you cover yourself with that if you're coming down this way. But yes, plenty and plenty more street food. These little kiosks here aren't usually here at the normal time of the year. I guess they've just been put up here for Chinese New Year. He's looking quite colourful. Oh, even more street food. Happy Chinese New Year! Oh, there's yeah, one of the dragons there. Didn't have the long tail on him. I don't think he's even worth a shot, is he? Good to see we've got a red cross station here with this many people. And obviously some sort of film crew, is it? I don't know. Guess we've got some loud music coming later. Generator is running there, I'm not quite sure what for. Isn't there enough power in the place? <laughs> Looks like that road's being closed off too. And we've got people waiting waving Thai flags down there for some reason. I can only guess we've got some sort of street procession going to go through here. Everybody's queued up against the edge. Yes, it certainly looks like we've got a procession going to be walking down or strolling down or running down that street in a few minutes. I don't know what timing anything happens here, so we'll just stick around and see what happens. So it looks like what we've got going on behind here is the, I would say, the official opening of the Chinese New Year. Uh, Recognised there on the video screen, is the, I think you call her the Queen Mother now, uh, taking envelopes from the patrons here. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that signifies. I'm sure somebody can drop a comment down below and you know, keep me informed. But yes, yeah, so, uh, I would expect a little bit more uh, security uh, at that sort of level around the Queen Mother. Um, but uh, yeah, it seems to be quite uh, sedate and, and uh, everybody seems quite happy to watch the little affair going on there, the dancing and so on. So, yeah, as for dragons, I'm not quite sure what we're going to see for dragons. Of course, we've got the dragons on the side of the road, but they're here all the time as far as I know. Or maybe not, every time I've been down here, but they're always here. This temple here is famous for the Golden Buddha. Uh, what Chayamit or something like that. I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced. Uh, I've never been in there. I uh, don't intend to go unless, of course, somebody says it's a great idea. Anyway, we've got people wandering up the street now, it looks like it. <laughs> I can see one of those dragon things coming along right now. I don't know if I can get a shot of it. You've got to be pretty tall.
It's like the official royal procession, it looks like it. Now it's all broken loose. <laughs> there we go. We had a good downpour of rain today, uh, first one in quite some time. Uh, so the humidity levels have gone right up, but it's actually cool but humid. Uh, not a or hardly a scary of water left. It's obviously drained quite well. But yeah, so the Queen Mother. I think that's her name or her official title. It was behind that, that podium there and she was being greeted. Um, not much else I can say about that. I don't know much about what's going on. You know, I'm just I'm an innocent bystander or onlooker trying to work out how everything works around here. The official Chinatown gate is what the map says. People are still mulling around there. I don't see the Queen Mother there anymore, so it's obviously one of the cars that's gone past. And it looks like the lights are being turned on, so we should get a bit of a showing. There we go, that looks interesting. It's a Zoid or whatever it is. The first of the lights. Looking at the skies above, I guess we might be looking for some more rain. <laughs> These cars still haven't moved for 10 minutes. There's something you don't see every day. This looks like Channel 7 OBV van. And yes, I've just felt the, uh, in the first spots of rain, so I can imagine you can see everybody rushing for cover very, very shortly. That might be an extra good shot. It does look like the, the entourage has finally started to move, albeit very slowly. I'm hoping to get a shot just in front of the dragon here <laughs> from my thumbnail, but I've got a feeling that's not going to happen. There's a nice big boom camera right in the middle of it. So finally the traffic's moved on and I can hopefully get a pretty good shot of this uh, <laughs> dragon behind me. Uh, Chinese New Year, Happy New Year 2024. Yeah, well, let's wander up the street and uh, see what else we can see. I guess the important camera crews have got all the best shots and <laughs> we get to see it live. And yes, the lights are coming on now. We get an idea what it looks like at night. Still very crowded though. Yes, amazing Thailand. I honestly swear, I think uh, Jerry's uh, uh, 10, 11 a.m., 10 a.m. meetup in, uh, in the M quarter there is louder than this. I was expecting to sort of hear a throng, a crowd, and everything else, but it's been never to be subdued. Everybody seems to be quite happy to bump in everybody and not give a damn. I guess that's another thing about Thailand, isn't it? Uh, they're a very forgiving people, and. Uh, you know, they tolerate us friends and our know, clumsiness and uh, lack of decor, but uh, couldn't have it any other way. Thailand is just one of those places that you just learn to love. So 
some sort of raffle going on here. Street restaurants, you call this? Oh God, trying to get around. Seriously. Okay. And this is where I'm going to wrap it up. Definitely lots of people here. And lots going on, lots of food being consumed. But I think I'm going to go and make my way out of here and uh, get some cool air somewhere. I did get the obligatory Facebook post to say I was here. I was here. There you go. Anyway, guys, uh, or guys and girls, I don't know how many girls watch this channel. Um, but uh, Chinese New Year. At least I can cross that one off my list of been there, done that, you know what I mean. Anyway, guys, peace out and uh, stay tuned for the next video. I'm not quite sure what we're doing next. I think the next one's going to be a lunch date. Or maybe back at the DLT for Shandy's second attempt to pass that driving test. Oh, my God. Anyway, we're out of here. Stay cool. Rock on. I, I want you to